doubt or believe the story, the story that, spreads that spreads around, around the, world. the world. Hello everyone, this time I would like to talk about the mysterious boy Casper Hauser. He is a boy whose birth, identity, and everything else is unknown. And his strange life has been featured in literature, songs, and movies. On May 26, 1828, a shoemaker named George Eichmann found the strange boy in a square in Nuremberg, Germany. It was a holiday on the day of Pentecost, but there were few people on the square. The boy was about high school age in appearance, about 5.1 feet tall and small in stature. The boy had beautiful hair and blue eyes, but his clothes were dirty, and he was in the square wearing boots and holding two letters in his hands as if he was scared of something. The boy could not speak and only answered Weiß es nicht in a frightened manner. Since he could not be identified, Eichmann took the boy to the conscripts station. When the conscripts read the two letters, they found that they were addressed to the captains of the 6th and 4th Cavalry Regiments. So they decided to take the boy to Captain Wessenich of the 4th Cavalry. When they arrived at the captain of the 4th Cavalry, they found that the boy had been burned by a candle fire as if he had seen fire for the first time. And that he was unusually afraid of an old clock in the corner of the room. The boy ate nothing but bread and water, and when given beer and meat, he did not know what to do with it and immediately puked it up after eating it. After that, he ate nothing but bread and water. They asked the boy many questions, but he still insisted, I don't know, so George and they had no choice but to read the letters. The first one said, Dear Captain, I am pleased to send you a young man who wishes to join your excellency's army. This child was entrusted to me by his mother on October 7, 1812, but I have other children and cannot afford to raise him. Also, I have never let this child out of my home. And the second letter said that this child has been baptized. His name is Casper. His father was a cavalryman. When he is 17 years old, please allow him to join the 6th Cavalry Regiment in Nuremberg. This is the regiment in which his father served. He was born on April 30, 1812. His father is already dead. The captain of the 4th Cavalry gave the boy a piece of paper and a pencil to see if he could write, and he began to write on the paper with a happy look on his face. Casper Hauser. Casper was then sent to live in a tower where the police slept. There he was watched over and visited by onlookers from the town, as well as by scholars and celebrities who were interested in Casper. He continued to eat only bread and water and played with horse toys all the time in the tower. Observation of Casper revealed that he did not seem to know the difference between people, animals, and objects, and that he sometimes fed the toy horse as well. In the tower, he played with the warden's family and the warden's son and daughter, and he gradually learned to speak and began to tell us about his life before he was found. He told them that he had been living in a dark room, two meters deep and one meter wide, with no sunlight coming in. The entrance to the room was locked, and the ceiling was so low that he had never left the room and could not stand up. Every morning when he woke up, there was always bread and water on the floor. And there was also a woolen feather, a wooden horse, and a dog toy. There was no toilet, so he had to go to the bathroom in a hole with a bucket in it. Sometimes the water felt bitter, and every time this happened, he would fall into a deep sleep and wake up to find his hair, nails, and clothes clean. This bitter water was apparently opium. One day, a man suddenly appeared in Casper's room and taught him how to write Casper Hauser and the word I don't know. After that, Casper was taken on a horse to a park in Nuremberg, where he was told by the man to hold two letters. One day, a criminal law scholar named Paul Johann Anselm Ritter von Farbach visited Casper and saw that he had no facial expression at all, that his eyes seemed to be staring blankly into the air, and that he feared that the daily visitors and new things would make him mentally ill. Thanks to Professor Daumer, Casper has grown so much that he is able to speak his mind, gradually develop facial expressions, and understand the difference between living things and objects. Living with Casper, Professor Daumer was able to learn a lot about him. He seemed to have developed a very sensitive senses due to the environment in which he had been raised, and his eyesight and hearing were unusually acute. This had its downside, he felt pain from loud noises and bright lights, 
and he had difficulty in his new life with drinks such as coffee, beer, and wine. As he became sick and drunk just by being in the same room with them. He also had an excellent sense of smell, being able to identify the type of tree by the smell of fallen leaves, and who a person was by the smell of an approaching person. He also had an instantaneous memory and improved his reading, writing, piano playing, and drawing. Another strange thing was his sensitivity to electricity and metal. He said that he could feel a tugging sensation when metal objects were nearby, and he could identify what metal objects were placed in front of him even with his eyes closed. Although Casper possessed such special abilities, they gradually faded as he became accustomed to society. However, his presence in Nuremberg had such an impact on the city that the city's taxes were used to pay for his living expenses. Then one day, a rumor began to circulate about Casper. Casper's appearance resembled that of a nobleman, Lord Hardin, and people began to wonder if Casper was a member of the royal family. To support the rumors, two royal children actually went missing around the time of Casper's birth, and people began to say that for some reason Casper had been kidnapped and locked in a basement. However, the rumors were quickly quashed by Lord Baden and other members of the royal family who did not like the rumors. Around 2000, DNA analysis of Casper's fingerprints found a match to a descendant of Stephanie, the wife of Carl, Duke of Baden, but the Baden family has refused to investigate. And some claim that the DNA used in the test was insufficient, so it is still a mystery whether Casper was really descended from the Hardin family. Casper became famous when he wrote his autobiography and Casper appeared in the town's newspaper. Then one day, on October 17, 1829, a suspicious man dressed in all black entered Casper's house while Dalmar was away and stabbed him in the forehead with a knife. Casper, who survived, said that the pitch black man had the same voice as the man who had trapped him for 16 years. The murderer was never caught, but rumors began to surface in the town again. Some suggested that it was an assassination attempt by Lord Baden, who feared the fact that Casper was the heir to the family. While others suggested that it was a stun of Casper's own making to get people's attention. For years later, when Professor Daumar became ill, Casper was gradually isolated and always seemed lonely. One day, on December 14, 1833, Casper was found bleeding profusely in the living room of Professor Meyer's house where he was living at the time. Casper, who was still conscious, spoke brokenly about a man. Stabbing. Knife in the park wallet and go right ahead casper was called to the park by someone who said he could give him information about his mother but there was a man standing in the park and when casper spoke to him he was suddenly stabbed in the side of his head the police went to the park and saw a black wallet with a message written upside down inside hauser would be able to describe what i looked like and where i'm from and who i am before you ask him, let me tell you. I come from the Bavarian border. I'll even tell you my name, MLO. Then the dying Casper began to talk about the inexplicable. Many a rat's death is caused by a cat. I'm tired, very tired. I still had a long journey to go. He died three days later, on December 17th, at the age of 21. The strange thing about the cause of his death is that there was snow on the ground that day and there was only one footprint in the park, and since the footprint was Casper's, it was again rumored to be of his own making. However, the anatomist who performed the autopsy concluded that the wounds were too deep for him to have done it himself. Leaving many mysteries unanswered, Casper was buried in a place called Osbach. The grave mark reads. The mysterious man who lies here died a mysterious death. In fact, the detective who was in charge of the first assassination attempt investigated Caspar Hauser, and claimed that he was indeed the son of Stephanie de Beauharnais of the Baden family. He wrote and published a book with corroborating evidence and made his case to the public, but he died unexpectedly at the age of 58. It is said that he was poisoned by the Baden family. Considering that the knife with which Casper was stabbed was found in the royal garden, that the Baden family refused to have a DNA test done, and that there were several assassination attempts. It seems very suspicious. What do you all think? If you have any comments, please leave a message. 
And please like and subscribe my channel, it makes me happy and gives me energy to make the next video. Thank you for watching.